Once the QSPY data is done processing, then we need to format the information here and then export it. So you want to right click on this area, which has the column headings, and you want to select only the value. So unselect everything and leave only value selected. So when we do that, then we can see that the command is listed there. Additionally, if you want to not see these sort of empty locations, at this point we can delete the things like the spy flash analyzer and the spy analyzer because we're not going to need them or be looking at them anymore. And then you can see that this value is only the QSPY analysis. So once you've got stuff looking like that, then you click on the three dots here next to the search window and you're going to select export table. Then it's going to ask you if you want the visible columns or all columns, and you're going to leave it with the default of only the visible ones, and you want to export to CSV. So all the default options are okay here, and then you go ahead and hit export, and you save the file. I'm going to go ahead and save this as Sele up squared dual spy and save as a CSV file. Then you hit export, and it's going to take a while to export that data. In the next video, we're going to see how to post-process that data from this sort of format into something that's appropriate for graphing. The output file here, of course, will be extremely large because you're taking every single byte of data and turning it into, you know, many bytes of ASCII data that gets exported. So as you saw, when the file is done exporting, it'll say export complete, and then this little status box will disappear down there. Now you're ready to move on to post-processing.